we are talking about the blood tunaongelea damu and flesh na nyama let me go faster the questions uh the first question what is the difference between the um the sheep and the lamb ya kwanza nini njoo utofauti ya kondoo na mwana kondoo when we are talking about the lamb tukiongelea kondoo the lamb is a kiddos mwana kondoo ni mwana ni kitoto is mwana um The, the lamb is between 0 year to 12 months. Ni kuanzia kwa uh, kuanzia kwa mwezi mmoja mpaka ku miezi so, 12. The sheep is between one year and above. Na kondoo ni kuanzia ku mwaka mmoja mpaka kupanda. That is a different. Ndio tofauti. Grammatically or uh, in the science way. Mm, kama gisi anavyosema. So in the spirit I've got also another meaning. Na kwa kiroho iko na ingine amana which we are not in the subject now yenye hatuko katika sije ile bear with me have a patient to talk about that nichukulie na upate na utasikia juu ya hiyo so when we talk about question number about the blood tukiongelea infusion damu kupatiwa damu witness jehova we know it is the jehova tunajua watemwe de jehova so they refuse Uh, to have the infusion wale hawapokea wa, ki damu because they believe that wanaamini ya kwamba we cannot transfer blood because it is life no? atuwezi kupatiana damu kwa sababu njo uzima how, how my blood can finish and they give me another blood by another person is aye njo damu yangu inaweza kuisha inaweza kuisha kisha wapatie mtu mwingine anipatie the question is this again natasha swali ni hii sasa even when they infuse people hata kama wanawatia damu Did they get another character? Wanapata ingine tabia. Hello? Did they change their comportment? Inawabadilisha nani tabia zao? Is the same things. Ni ile ile. Is that when you don't have uh sodium in the body? Ni wakati hauna. They mama yake knows about it. They will take it and they put it in you. Wakati How do you go a trip is it trip or? So, they take a drip, they put sodium Wanaku. and is there something blood unakosa vitu fulani kwenye mwili masedium those people they don't have the knowledge of god ni watu ambao hawana elimu ya mungu ndio watu wanakataa blood 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 of uh, dam dam wanakutia tu kwenye drip if you are serum your, your group is o your type of blood is o and another one is o just take it the more you want kama damu yako iko o give wana, you give you Unfortunately, unfortunately if it go behind your uh, the average of your blood that's why but if you don't have blood let them put you is nothing there Kama hauna damu wanaweza kutilia iko shida Are we together So about the food mm, about what you say about the you, uh, Colossians chapter 2 verse 16 please Wa Kolosai 2:16 Kwa Kiswahili nasema Basi mtu asiwahukumu our Bible all of us please Let be sure that tunas- we are all of us there Inabidi tu tuwe pale si wote. Are we there in Swahili, in Kirundi, in Kinyarwanda, in all languages? Hallelujah. The Amen. Bible says. Yeah. Therefore do not let anyone judge you by what you you eat or drink. Do not judge anyone. I do not uh, nini, do not do it. Judge. Do not judge you. Do not want somebody to judge you about anyone what you drink, yeah. about you eat. Basi mtu asiwahukumu ninyi katika vyakula au vinywaji. Or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration or a Sabbath day. About those who they are partying Christmas, this is Pasaka, this is things. This verse I never read it to you anyway. Uh, I add it so today you discover it. So, do not do not worry about those they said oh this is Christmas day or whatever. Let no judge you. Don't allow people to judge you. Au kwa sababu ya siku kuu au mwandamo wa mwezi au sabato. Don't. Amen. Don't allow. You know there are people who they say that uh, I cannot come to church Sunday because I go Saturday. They, they, they call what sab- sabato or sa- Adventist. Sabato. Usi, usikubali watu wa kuhukumu kutokana na wale watu wa, kwa sababu unaenda kwenye sabato kanisani. You know those people, isn't it? Una wale watu. Come. Yes. Be with me. 
just get what I'm talking. So you know those kind of people they say I cannot go to church on Sunday siwezi, because I go on Saturday. Ah, uh, unaona wale watu wanasema siwezi kwenda kanisani siku ya inga kwa sababu mimi naenda siku ya posho. Amen. Amen. The, the Bible says don't allow those people to judge you. Biblia inasema usikubali hao watu wa kuhukumu. In fact, we don't have the day of God. Kwa, uh, na kwanza hatuna siku ya Mungu. Amen. Jesus did not have any day that today is Sunday I will teach my disciple no. The Yesu, Bible says every day they were with him. Yesu hakukua na siku ya kusema leo ni siku ya inga ndio nitawafundisha. Biblia inasema kila siku walikuwa pamoja naye. Amen. Amen. That's the point. Uh, about oh thank you. About oh what can we eat? What can we drink? Natasha, go whatever they sell into the market. Eat kuhusu kile kusema se nitakula nini au nitafaa nini a a kile ambacho kile wanafu, wanauzisha msoko kula if kunya. this if we's blood you you do like uh, this they side people of congo the way they did just take it and eat if it it goes together with your body eat it Ayu, if it does kusema, not go together with your body don't unakula bibenye na damu kula kama kisi kongo wanasema unakula kimbishi mbishi unakula tu kama kinaendana na mwili wako we kula tu Are you getting my point? Amen. It's like I contradict myself, isn't it? Mhm. <laughs> Dio. This is what it is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kumanya ki? 17. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. Napenda musikie. Unasema nini mswahili? Inasema mswahili hivi. Mambo hayo ni kivuli cha mambo ya jayo. Mambo ile okay, let me say in Swahili. Those I'll come back in English. Ile mambo Musa alikuwa anasema kama msikule nyama na damu yake ilikuwa kimvuli cha mambo ile itakuja baadaye. Akikuwa njoo ile nyama ya kuku, nyama ya kabambale, I don't know. No 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 no. It was a picture. Ilikuwa image. Ha, ni mambo leta, can you repeat again there? I want you to understand this with me please. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. A shadow. Are we understand by the shadow? Yes. I cannot I don't have a shadow here. I don't have a shadow here. So when we have the kimvuli. Wakati tuna tuko na kimvuli. Can you see the eyes? No. No, we can't see. Aha. Uh-huh. That was the message of Moses. Ile likuwa ni ujumbe wa Musa. People were seeing but they could not perceive. Watu walikuwa wanaona lakini hawapeni. Are you getting my point? Amen. So does it. Now upon them don't eat, eat, drink. Ile ya kusema usikule, kunywa, ufanye hivi hapana. Oh, we have a celebration. What is the celebration of Pentecost day? Okay. Pentecost day. We are born in Tashuka and the Pasaka Christmas. Those things they were a shadow. Ile mambo ya kusema sasa tuko na Pasaka, tuko na na Pentecost day. Ilikuwa ni kivuli, kivuli. It tu. was not the truth. Haikukua ukweli. Go in the market. If you want to go to eat crocodile, just eat it. Who does not eat nguruwe here? Who does not eat the pork? The pig or pork either. Go eat. Uh, it, it is not re- that we are, we are, they are telling you that. Oh, don't eat the pig. Oh, because the demons. But the Bible says those those pigs, those pigs, when they eat them in the water, wakati walingia mapepo, they died. Wote nguruwe wote walingia mai wakakufa. Hawa ni wapya. So which pig are you saying? Sasa unaongelea nguruwe gani? You understand? Those are the law of Moses. Ile ilikuwa ni sheria ya. If you still doing that, kama ungana fanya hivyo, you are under the law. Wewe uko chini ya sheria. And there is no life to you. Hakuna uzima kwako. Refuse a food because maybe your body does not go along. Katala chakula kwa sababu mwili wako haiendani nayo. Not because don't say that because it is in the kwa sababu uh, uh, in the law of Moses. Usisemi nah, kwa sababu ni sheria ambayo iliandikwa kwa na Musa. When they read the scriptures, I want you when they are reading. Napenda wakati wana wanasoma usikilize. So that after church, you knew baada ya kanisa. You cannot misinterpret what you not listen. Juu usi usi ustafsiri wenyewe ukusikia. Okay? The Bible say it was what? 
a shadow. Eat everything you can eat. If you are able to manage them. If you are not able. Kama are we together? Usikule. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Another question. When Jesus said, Take this bread is my body and my wine is blood. Mm. When did this message come to pass? Wow. So, Jesus, listen to me. I want you to take your intention here. When Jesus was talking with them, Natasha, Wakati yesu ongea nao. he was under the mountain. Ilikuwa ni chini ya mlima. It will be like I confuse you, but it's like that. So it it was under the mountain. But when he was going with them there, he was supposed to teach them a word. Amen. Amen. Now this word of take my flesh okay. and my blood. It's supposed to be fulfilled. Because there he was in the flesh. He was living with them. How they can eat him. And, and how they can drink him. Amen. 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 So when he was teaching them. He's supposed to invite them. That is the invitation of the mountain. So when he was inviting them. Even the disciples did not accept that invitation. Oh, Papa Flori. Even the disciples, they received the teaching. The teaching ilikuwa downstairs. The mafundisho ilikuwa chini ya Why? Because Jesus was still in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, at the time of the fulfillment, Sasa wakati wa kutimilika, it's supposed to be fulfilled on the second mountain. Ilibidi itimilike kwenye mlima wa pili. Because the first mountain was a prophecy of Isaiah. Kwa sababu mlima wa kwanza ilikuwa ni unabii wa Isaiah. Isaiah ngapi? Isaiah 25. Yeah, even two as well, yeah. The invitation Isaiah 22. Kwa aliko Isaiah 22 and uh, to 5 my writing. And that meat which they supposed to eat. Na ile nyama walitaji kula. Jesus came to reveal to them. Yesu alikuja kuwafundia. That meat is me. Ile nyama ni mimi. That blood is me. Ile damu ni mimi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's a question teaching to you as well. That blood is me. But you need to drink it. When? And how? He said, okay, you know. The time they're crucifying. The time he's taking the cross. Is the time he's climbing the mountain. He's climbing the mountain. He's going on the Calvary. Now, the time of the feast. Sasa wakati wa chakula the time to eat wakati wa kula people they refuse to eat watu wakakataa kula Peter flee Peter kakimbia John flee Yohana kakimbia the love of the mother upendo wa mama That why you when you have a mother respect your mother Joko maana wakati uko na mama umheshimu mama yako Please na those young young boy and girls of the wale wa vijana wadogo wadogo na na, na binti you cannot respect God when you do misrespect your parent. So now the mother remain. Mama kabaki. Oh, ah, mukani say to manamke wa siubiri. We, we, unaya manama ubiri. In our church, the women cannot preach. Do you know the meaning of preaching? Men they are always proud and talkative. Wanaume wako tu na kiburi na kuongea ongea. Oh, sorry. I've been chosen bracket anyway. Samaani ilikuwa tu ni kwa wakolaji. But the women we men. Wanamke wakabaki. Taking the cross. Wakachukua msalaba. Jesus. Yesu. Please. Pole. Hey, mwanamke. Wewe mama. Kusin lilie mimi. You man. Lilie watoto wako. <laughs> Don't cry about me. Cry for yourself and your children. Lilie usin lilie mimi. Myself I am wako. accomplishing the mission. Mimi niko na team. You are crying for me in the, this flesh. It is good for your love. But I know what I'm doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why Ananita? Why Natasha? No, 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 no. Don't feel sorry for me. The pain I'm having here. It is the accomplishment of my mission. All the chests you at work. Why are you always sick? 
Kwa sababu gani una Don't worry for me. I overcome this now. I am hii. doing my mission. Ninafanya kazi yangu. So when now he reach on the cross. Wakati alifika msalabani. The time of eating. Wakati wa kula. The eating. Oh God, I reveal why I'm supposed not to reveal today. So the time of eating. Wakati wa kula. Was not here. Haikukua hapa. Was not When Isaiah prophesied, wakati Isaiah alitoa unabii, it was an easy prophecy. Ilikuwa ni teke teke tu. Let go on the mountain. Acha tuende kwenye mlima. Let it to cool and drink. Na tunywe. It was easy. Ilikuwa ni easy. Everyone rice. can accept that invitation. Kila mtu anaweza kukubali ile aliko. Oh, amen. amen. Now the time of the accomplishment. Ah, lakini wakati wa kutimilika. Things change. Mambo yakabadilika. Amen. Amen. The time of accomplishment bitu vinabadilika wakati wa kutimilika mambo yaka change petro petro you said you die with me ulisema utakufa na mimi don't worry when you hear the rooster cry three times wakati utasikia jogoa na wika mara tatu wewe utanikana me mimi where you go is where kwenye utaenda na mimi nitaenda wewe tulia the mouth is ready to talk kinywa ni rahisi kuongea Najenga itaji. You know the people almost who tell you that I love you I love you. There are some of people Watu wanakuambia nakupenda nakupenda njo wale. Love is not a feeling it's a commitment. Upendo sio hisia bali ni kujitolea. I'm touching you and there. Niko nagusa hapa na pale. When he reached there. Wakati alifika huko. Even the one who Jesus loved the most. Ule ambaye Yesu alimpenda zaidi. Who is he? Na John thank you. Who said that? Always needy. Kila siku ni nendi. So, ni John, Yohana. The one who Jesus loved. Ule ambaye alimpenda zaidi. The time of the feast. Wakati wa kula. Chiva akukua. Ali he flee. He was not there Chiva. The time of eating. The time, the wakati time wa kula. of celebrating. Wakati wa kuzua kwa proof that you love me. Kuonesha kama unanipenda. Because where you go? Kwa sababu kwenye una is where you go. Ndio kwenye nitaenda. Your God mungu wako shall be my God. Atakuwa mungu wako. Your suffering shall be my suffering. Itakuwa shida yangu. Do you know at the time of enjoyment we are many. wakati wa kufurahia tuko wengi. At the time of suffering. Alakini wakati wa shida. You know loves you now. Utajua mwenye anakupenda ni nani. Jesus remain alone. Yesu akabaki peke yake. The unfortunate things. Mambo ya mbayo. He was together with the thief. Alikuwa pamoja na wewe. The people they did not listen his teaching. Watu ambao wakusikia hata mafundisho yake. Maana yanja I'm going somewhere. Mm, mm. Oh, okay, let me put it down. No. I'll come another day, is it? Come on. The time that ah man somebody said mtu akasema in the time of trouble kwa wakati wa shida the people you don't know watu wa juu they want to assist you jo wale wanakusaidiaga jesus the disciples yes wanafunzi wote wakamkimbia baina kujifungia wakaenda they went to jesus mambo yako ile is that your no you invite us to eat ulituita kula but what happened nini sasa ni let me go short so the celebration Natasha it happened on the mountain of Calvary. Kusherekea ilikuwa inafanyika kwenye mlima wa Calvary. That is the time they supposed to eat. Huyo ndio muda walihitaji kula. But to eat what? Kula nini? What do you say about cultures who eat meat with blood in it? You eat you eat whatever you want to eat with blood. Eat. Ah. Colossians chapter 2 verse 16 it said Yeah, you don't allow somebody to judge you about what you eat. But there is a time if you go to the mission of God. If you find people are, are eating something, you don't eat it. Eat it for the sake of God. Kuna wakati unaenda kwenye misio ya Mungu, unakutana watu wanakula kitu ambayo haukuli. Utakikula kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Mungu. That is the teaching of their word. I will tell you why. Hiyo ni mafundisho ya watumishi. So, uh, another question? Yeah. What can we do to have quietness, weakness and innocence? Obedience to your shepherd. Kuti mtumishi wa Mungu. Another question? What what do we see in the soul and what is the secret behind that? Tunaona nini ndani ya nafsi na secret. Let me take us chapter 17 verse 14. Can you read yourself please? Mambo ya walau. Amen. Amen. 17:14. What the Bible says? Biblia inasema mambo ya Walawi 17 mstari wa 14. Mm. 
Biblia inasema. Yeah. Kwa maana kuliko uo uhai wa mnyama hiyo damu yake ni moja na uhai wake. Because the life of every creatures it is blood. The blood because of what? Because the blood of every creature. Kwa sababu ya damu ya kila kiumbe. What makes a person? Ile ambayo inamfanya binadamu. Anita, what makes a person? Ile inamfanya binadamu. An animal. Na mnyama. To have strength. Kuwa na nguvu. It's because of the blood. Ni juu ya damu. The secret beyond that refuse it's composed by the blood in the flesh. Sekre au siri bi nyuma ya ile kukataa kula ni damu. The word Bible say you, you say what again? Those are not listening to English. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo naliwaambia yeah. wana wa Israel musile damu ya mnyama wa aina yoyote. Don't eat the blood of any animal. Even if it's a small animal, don't eat the blood. Mm. Kwa kuwa uhai wa mnyama wote ni katika hiyo damu yake. The life, the soul of any animal, it is his blood. The machine, the engine, the, 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 the what can I say? What makes a man or an animal to be is the blood. Ile namfanya mnyama au binadamu kuishi ni damu. So at the moment you eat his blood, wakati unakula damu yake, you eat his soul. Unakula nafsi yake. Because the soul, kwa sababu nafsi yake, is a person. Ni mtu. Hallelujah. Amen. Does it lady? Njoo ile. Amen. Amen. Is there any question again? Huko ingine swali. Thank you so much. Anyway, learn to clap for Jesus. Yes, Papa Flori. Pako na kingine ingine swali ya pili na hapa kwenye tulisoma mu Kolosai ajili tusijaje mtu ajili ya kunywa kula na sasa kukunywa. Bwana sasa wengine si wa ba protesta tunakuwa tunajaje wenye wanajikunywa pombe kwa hiyo tujaje mtu kumbe kwa tunajikunywa kunywa ka pombe sio vibaya. Bajua pana na Mungu atuambia tusi mlisimama kukula kula kula nyama kula na bali sema ta usijaji mtu na kukunywa So the Bible te, is telling us we cannot judge So there is other books we need to move to remove them or stop reading them because it's confusing us as Babu is saying So there is other people they drink because the, you allow us that the Bible is allowing us to eat everything to drink so that means even the alcohol we're supposed to drink it and sometimes we we judge the people who drink alcohol so what can we do now so as the bible says we have to eat everything and drink everything yeah i have also a, have also a question can you go to the market they are selling the flesh of a man can you eat it and drink his blood because the bible says there is people who eat it so who, can we judge them who eats the flesh of a man can you go in your google and search any country which eats the flesh of a man do you know why they are doing that it's their culture thank you i like people to think is their culture if you are eating the flesh of a man it is your culture and you are under case the only flesh we have to eat is the flesh of jesus and his blood no flesh of any man at the moment you eat the flesh of a man you eat his soul and uh, you eat his life you become him and any man on earth this origin is a sinner wakati unakula nyama ya mtu unakuwa chini ya sheria i forgot to interpret nilikuwa nafuata it's confused hallelujah amen any man on earth ukila mbinadamu chini ya jua your doctor your mother your father Dada, the origin yako. is the sinner so at the moment you eat that Kwa ule muda unakula, you eat the sin. Unakula zambi, and you become a sinner. Na unakuwa mwenye zambi. And that one. Na ile sasa. 
about I'm not talking, I'm not talking about the sinner today, okay? I don't want to mix things. So it's like that. Kacha is out of uh, for the question of Baflori. Swali of Baflori. It's a catch of things. Mambo ya ya kutim. And they do it also when it is uh, they have got the big ceremonies. Na wanafanya hivyo wakati wako na mashere makubwa makubwa. And uh, at the time of Pharaoh, they were doing that. At the time of Ba, they were doing that. Wakati wa na Baali, walikuwa wanafanya hivyo. They were killing. Walikuwa wanaua. People. Watu. So, are we together? Ndiyo. Papa Flori, your coach, hey, yeah. Can we still drinking? Okay. Tunaweza kunywa. It's like that. Can we charge? Tunaweza kuhukumu wanao kunywa. The Bible says, Bibiria inasema, <laughs> You know this Bible. I, I don't want to confuse you people. The Bible says the saints will judge the angels. Biblia inasema ya kwamba wa watakatifu, watakatifu watahukumu wata malaika. So what about you? Sasa wewe. If I'm a saint, kama niko mtakatifu, I'll judge you. Nitaku How to judge you? Nitakuhukumu vipi? This word ili neno is judging you. Inakuhukumu wewe. Straight at the moment I'm preaching, you see where to go. You see where you cannot go. The judgment. Ile, I'm not talking about the Amen. The about the Bible of Flori. Kusu Biblia. When they talk about drinking, wakati wanasema jili akunywa. Even when we go in science, ata wakati tunanda kwenye science, we know that. Tunajua ya kwamba. Drink have got the effect. Let's forget first about the Bible because I have more verses about that. Drinking does not give a respect to a person. Now, most of the time when you drink, there is always consequences. Now, in the level of the spirit, the Bible says, do not be Alcoholic, no. Do not drink the alcohol, pombe. But be filled by the Holy Spirit. Alakini ujazwe na rom takatifu. The same effect which is in alcohol. Ilele ilele hali na kwa 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 don't you read in the Bible? There are some people they refuse them to drink. Kuna watu wale wakatalia kunyo. Samson. Samson. If drink could be good. Kama pombe ngekuwa nzuri. Why they refuse them to drink? Kwa sababu gani wale wakatalia? When they say what they sell to the market. Wakati wanasema yale wanauzisha kwenye soko. Apostle Paul said. Mtume Paulo alisema. Two shows may permit. Kila kitu nimekubaliwa. Mais ce n'est pas toute chose qui est Alakini sio kila kitu njoo kizuri kwangu. Everything is permitted for me to do. Kila kitu kinakubaliwa kwangu. But it's not all of them are necessary to me. kila kitu sasa njoo cha maana mimi kufanya. I can go to the magazine they are selling a short stuff. Naweza kwenda kwenye soko na kutaka kuuza kwa vitu. I can buy. So, eh, na mimi niko na pesa yangu naweza. But is it necessary to me? Alakini ni ni maana kwangu? Hapana. I can go to the boutique how do you go B W M what they sell there I can go there they they're taking alcohol Naenda kwenye kule kwa ile ma boutique ya Can I buy it Naweza kununua Is it necessary to me Ni mimi ni amana kwangu You are able to do everything you are free Huko na huko na uhuru wa kufanya kila kitu kile uko na Lakini Is it necessary to you Lakini ni amana kwangu If it's necessary to you Kama ni amana wewe move on Kama sio amana piga mguu na wende Amen. Amen. So, can we delete the other Bible, other verses? No. Tunaweza kuvuta ingine mavesi apana. Mama nyaki read there seventeen collections. Mama nyaki alisoma kolosai kumi na saba. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. Amen. Ii. These are the shadow. Ili kuwa ni kivuli. A shadow only. Kivuli. But the truth. Alakini ukweli. However is found in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The reality of those things of eating and it is find it here. Ukweli wa yote 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 yote
ndani ya Kristo. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Mm-hmm. That's it. All the Bible is very necessary. Now Bibilia when we when we have a conference of uh, uh tithe and offering wakati tutakuwa na conference ya ya sadaka na cha 10 you understand that utaelewa ya kwamba everything's up in here i mambo yote yanafanyika but people did not understand lakini watu wakuelewa when you read the terenomy in jesus christ ukisoma the terenomy ndani ya kristo you understand the scripture uta utaelewa maandiko When you read the Deuteronomy or Leviticus in Christ Jesus, au Levitic, uta, in Christ, the revelation of Jesus. Ya Yesu Christo, you understand. Utaelewa. But when you read the Deuteronomy in the revelation of Moses. Ala kini ukisoma Deuteronom ndani ya, ma, ya, ya maisha ya, ya Musa. You cannot see forward where you are going. Hautaona mbele kule kunaenda. Amen. Amen. Thank my viewers have seen. Asante. The Bible is um It's only the grace of God those they can interpret it well. Biblia ni inachukua neema ya Mungu kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuitafsiri vizuri. So as we are talking about the blood of Jesus. Wakati tu tunaongelea damu ya Yesu. But one we understood that. Apartia kwanza tumeelewa ya kwamba you cannot drink the blood. Hautakunywa damu. You cannot eat the flesh. Hauwezi kula na nyama. Amen. That was a law. Ile ilikuwa ni sheria. All right? Now when Jesus came, wakati Yesu alikuja, said, for you to have life, akasema wewe kwako kuwa na uzima. You drink my blood. Inabidi kunywa damu yangu. And eat my flesh. Na kula nyama yangu. So with, where we are going you understand what is the meaning of those na things. Na kwenye tunaenda utaelewa maana ya hiyo mambo. And uh, for that way to be accomplished. Na hiyo neno kuwa itimilike. We learn that tulijifunza ya kwamba Jesus must become a lamb. Yesu inabidi ageuke mwana kondoo. Okay? Mm-hmm. So people they can eat because we need to eat. Juu watu wakule inabidi tukule. When uh, John Baptist saw him, wakati Yohana Mbatizaji alimuona. Say behold the lamb of God who remove the sin. Akasema uh, angalia mwana wa mwana kondoo ambaye anayeondoa dhambi. Amen. He did not see a man as we say. Hakuona mtu kama Kristo na Yesu. And in the lamb, why they choose a lamb? Ndani ya mwana kondoo kwa sababu gani walichangua mwana kondoo? Number one we say is what because of what? Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu ya weakness. Thank you. Because of his weakness. Kwa sababu ya udhaifu. A lamb is weak. Kwa sababu kondoo ni mdhaifu. A lamb does not have that time of defending himself. Kondoo hana muda wa kujipigania. Like we always do. Kama Kristo tunafanya. When they provoke us we have to Kama wanatuchokoza inabidi tu defend When we eat the flesh. Wakati tunakula nyama. We drink. Tunakunywa. We need to be weak. Inabidi tuwe na If we feel strong. Kama tunakuwa by defending ourselves. Kama tunakuwa na nguvu kwa kujitetea. Because that blood and the lamb we eat maybe is kwa sababu the monkey is not for the lamb. Ile damu tunakunywa na ile nyama tunakula maana yake ni ya kiki sio ya mwana kondoo. Are we together? The weakness we are talking about uh, is Romans chapter 12. Iko ndani ya Warumi 12. Verse 17. 17. Romans 12 verse 17. Romans 12 verse 17. Warumi 12 verse 17. I want this Warumi message to cover it well. Mstari wa 17. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Do not repay anyone evil for what? Evil. Ah. Uh, do repay somebody if he eat you, you too. Msimlipe mtu uovu kwa uovu. They accuse you to the uh, to the soldier, you to you go. Wakati mtu anakupiga ngumi naona unaona una, una, aenda unapiga ngumi ingine. Muswahili <laughs> Do not repay the weakness we are talking about here. Uzaifu tunaongelea hapa. Is when they do evil to you. Ni wakati wanakutendea maovu. You show contrary. Na wewe unaonesha ya tofauti. The lamb. Mwana kondoo. Does not do evil. Kondoo mwana kondoo arudishagi maovu. Is with me together? Amen. The lamb does not do evil. Mwana kondoo arudishagi uovu. One the example of ndege that is you of the ndege if you want to leave it is your problem but the weakness we are talking about here Uzaifu ambao tunaongelea hapa Yeah if you tell me that even ndege if you leave it mm, you understand that Unaelewa ya kwamba a weakness Uzaifu Jesus they are beating him Wanampiga He had a power Alikuwa na nguvu to make vanish all the people Kufanya watu wote wapotee He's just weak 
alikuwa mdhaifu Can you not defend yourself? Hauwezi kujitetea peke yako. Can you not defend yourself? Hauwezi kujitetea peke yako. Is it true what they are accusing you? Ni vya kweli ambao wanakusemea? Can you be that Anita? Kimya. Anita unaweza kuwa hivyo. Do not repay Usi, evil for evil and then Usilipe uovu kwa uovu. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. Hallelujah. Amina. Be careful to do good. Angalieni yaliyo mema macho. Basalio mabe salabolamu. They do you uh, bad things you do good things. Basalio eloho yo esokisio mutema na kati. Me otalio se. Ah, nalega na. They do something which is hurting your inside but you say ah this no, is the lamb are we are we together hii ndio mwana kondo this is the lamb hii ndio mwana kondo the lamb does not repay evil for evil mwana kondo alipaki uovu kwa uovu you know there are some people you can help in life but they they zokisa yomo tema leave them so when the people they they them wana kufanisia mubaya alakini wana kufanya nini na uliba saidia Unaweza kusema kusema kwamba kisi ulivyo mimi ndio mimi nakusaidia sasa kusisema atakusema hivyo ikala kimya upite Amen ukamfanisia bubaya unamfanana That is the things people they don't understand Amen Levo papa thank you Do is where you can say I am not from your level If our oh God I feel like preaching If Jesus could reply when they are beating him Eh hey, mwangalie yes, mwangalie please 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 hello everyone So if you could reply angerudishia he could not accomplish his mission asingetimiza kazi yake How can we follow his example Tunaweza kufuata mfano wake Our kifiki. master is doing wrong things Kama master um, t- mchunga kiongozi wetu anafanya mambo mabaya First Peter chapter 2 verse 20 to 25 Petro the Bible says sura ya pili mstari wa 20 mpaka 25 Ninasema ya kwanza ina ya kwamba inabidi tutembee katika nyayo zake He did not zaki. reply bad things Hakujibia mambo mabaya I have a capacity to destroy somebody Niko na uwezo wa kumwangusha mtu But when I look at him Lakini wakati namwangalia I pass Ninapita Amen. What makes you to be at the higher level? Nini njoo nakufanya uwe juu? It's not when you act. Haiku kwa sababu umerudishia kwa nguvu. Is when you act weakly wakati unarudishia kwa ku, kwa udhaifu katika njia ya Mungu. That means they do bad to you. Okay. Ina maana wanafanya mambo mabaya kwako. But you repay good. Lakini unawatendea mazuri. There are some people are ungrateful in, in this life. Kuna watu ambao hawana shukurani katika maisha. Even you buy for them aircraft. Hata ukiwanunulia ndege. They will still insulting you and gossip. Bado tu watakutukana. Don't fear their movement. Usifuate mwenendo wao. That hao. movement is downstairs. Mwenendo wao ni hapa chini. Go on the mountain. Wewe ndio kwenye mlima. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the point you have to do with Afro. Ni chakitu unapacho kifanya. Don't you pay bad things to evil things to evil things now. Usilipe mabaya kwa mabaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is the weakness. Huo ndio udhaifu. Proverbs chapter 20, let me close this. Midhali 20. Verse 22. 22. I hope this message of the lamp you understand. When we talk about the weak, when we talk about quietness, and we talk about what? Innocence. Wakati tunaongelea kuhusu udhaifu na tunaongelea kuhusu kimya pamoja na ukosa hatia. That's it the point. Don't be always the time you there people they talk. Usikue kama wale ambao wanaongea sana. You can remain quiet even for one hour. You have to talk. Yaani hawezi hata kubaki kimya hata kwa saa moja. Some of you God have grace you you have a good chest of talking too much. Wa moja wao Mungu amewajalia amepata kifua cha kuongea sana. Is there things you can talk? Sio kila kitu unapaswa kukisema. I'm not talking about remain quiet if you're proud like. Sisemi ile ya kubaki kimya. Bana kuna fia kunyumba nyuma. Unatoka wapi? You get home late and They ask you where are you coming from and then you just Where do you come this time? Gonna, where are you coming from? Jesus remain quiet have to remain quiet. Oh yes ali baki kimya na mimi na baki kimya. You are a witch. This is the point. They live. ask you where do you come from? So I, 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 I will just learn this. You explain. Ah samani nilikuwa nipitia hivi nikakamatika na traffic. That's it. Nilikwisha. No. Ki hii wakati unatoka wapi? Ki where are you coming from now? Just, there, there are some people that give me reason. I say 
No, 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 no. And others, others they defend themselves by saying, Oh, if I reply, they're gonna say I reply. They, they said I have to be quiet like Jesus. Oh, kwa you actually back him ya kama Yesu. No, it's not like that. See you. Answer your question. Where would you sorry? Lego, what the Bible says, I say something. Proverbs 20, 22. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, mm-hmm. Do not say mm. I will pay you back for this wrong. Aha! Do not say it. from today, Musikiye. Kwanzia leo, Musikiye. If you are the children of Assembly of Christ, listen. Kama uko mtoto wa Assembly of Christ, do not said. I will do what? I will pay you back for this wrong. The it's way you have done to me. Mimi nitalipa mabaya mgoje bwana. Don't do that. Usiseme hivyo. They do bad to you. Wanakufanyia mabaya. Calm down. Wake up. Kala chete. Is it like that? Patrick. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Kale ni chete. Baki kimya. Calm down. Baki kimya. And then wait for the Lord and he will deliver you. Hallelujah. Bwana naye atakuokoa. My vision said wait for the Lord he will avenge at your place. Bwana atakuokoa. Will avenge at your place. Bwana atarudisha kisasi nafasi yako. Kama unalipisha wewe kisasi. I think like talking mzuri. If you avenge yourself maybe it won't be good. Acha ule anaya kulipia kisasi. Let him who knows how to revenge. Amen. Amen. Let that remain to to be weak. Tubaki kuwa wadhaifu. Front of a devil bad things they do to you you. Mbele ya yale mambo mabaya wanayokufanyia. I did not say can't hate you it will hate you. Sikusema kwamba haitakuumiza itakuumiza ndio. When it hates you wakati nakuumiza. Is what we said? Ndipo pale tunasema sacrifice your body. Kujitoa kutoa mwili wako. It hates you. Inakuuma ndio. You have a capacity to avenge. Uko na nguvu ya kurudisha kisasi. Come down. Lakini the avenger will avenge for you. Mlipiza kisasi atakulipizia kisasi. When you are at that level, wakati katika hicho kiwango, you become God. Unakuwa Mungu. Amen. Ah, you become God. Unakuwa you Mungu. The flesh and the lamb. Unakuwa unakula mwili na, na damu. Amen. 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 Do you know whatever they are doing? Wanajua hivi watu wanavyofanya? Let me close anyway. Whatever people are doing bad to you. Chochote watu wanachokufanyia kibaya. They are bringing you in their field. Wako na kuleta katika shamba lao so that you can cultivate with them in their field. Ili uweze kuvuna pamoja nao au uweze kulima pamoja nao katika shamba zao. Don't go to their field. Usiende katika shamba zao. Hallelujah. What kill able? It because he went to the field of his brother. Ni kwa sababu alienda katika shamba ya kaka yake. Amen. Oh Amen. I already to receive this. Mm-hmm. Because he went to the field of his brother. Alienda katika shamba ya Genesis kaka yake. Genesis chapter 4. Mwanzo sura 4. Amen. Amen. Eti Abeli. When you go on the ground of your enemy. Wakati unaenda katika kiwanja cha adui yako. They know their ground. Wanajua kiwanja chao. They will chao. eat you. Watakuua. If they call you there don't go. Kama wanakuita kule usiende. Be weak. Wewe kuwa mzaifu. Be innocent. Kuwa be kwa kuwa quiet. Kuwa kimya. The avenger will avenge for you. Amtetezi um, au mlipiza kisasi atakupiza kisasi. But if you go to their field. Lakini ukienda katika viwanja vyao. You are out of the game. Yaani wewe uko nje ya mchezo. Then next time we we'll learn how do we eat the lamb. Na baadaye tutajifunza namna gani ya kula mwana kondoo. God bless you. Thank you. Mungu awabariki. Asante. Thank you Jesus. Tumpigie Mungu mikono jamani. Tumpigie Mungu mikono. Mambo ya ajabu ambayo tunajifunza. Kwa hiyo inabidi tupige mikono.